आज के सेशन में हम यूएसएफडी के चैप्टर वन और चैप्टर थ्री से रिलेटेड कई क्वेश्चन सॉल्व करने वाले हैं आइए देखते हैं उन सवालों को पहला सवाल है विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग आर नॉट अ काउज ऑफ रियल पब्लिक वेल्थ फेलियर द फर्स्ट वन इज मेटेरियल डिफेक्ट सेकेंड वन इज रियल स्ट्रेस थर्ड इज डिफेक्ट ड्यू टू इन करेक्ट हैंडलिंग फोर्थ डिफेक्ट एसोसिएटेड विद फॉल्टी वेल्डिंग fifth dynamic stress caused by the vertical and lateral load and sixth excessive thermal stress and seven overdue welder training and seven overdue welder training is not a cause of rail weld failure so seven is the right answer in how many categories is the rail fracture divided on the basis of their location of occurrence in the rail length in order study and that is c in how many category is the nature of defect in rail is divided in usfd manual and the right answer is 11 which type of system of codification of rail failure is adopted by the uic and that is alpha numeric what does o represent in the first code of the system of codification of rail failure adopted by the uic and that is plain rail what does x represent in the system of codification of the rail failure adopted by the uic and that is point and crossing rail what does f represent in the codification of the rail failure adopted by the uic and that is fractured rail what does c represent in the second place of code in the system of codification of rail failures adopted by uic and c is cracked rail what does c represent in the third place of code in the system of codification of rail failure adopted by the uic and that is excessive corrosion what does d represent in the system of codification of the rail failure adopted by the uic and d means defective rail other than f and c what does r represent in the system of codification of rail failure adopted by the uic and r is represented cause inherent inherent in the rail what does s represent in the system of codification of rail failures adopted by the uic and s represent fault of rolling stock what does j represent in the system of codification of rail failures adopted by the uic and j means badly maintained joint what does m represent in the system of codification of rail failure adopted by the uic and m means other maintained conditions maintenance condition what does d represent in the system of codification of the rail failure adopted by the uic and that is derailment what does w represent in the system of codification of the rail failure adopted by the uic and that is associated with belt defects what does o represent in the third code of the system of codification of rail failures adopted by the uic and that is other causes how many numbers is used in numeric part of the code in the uic system of the rail failure and it may be either 3 or 4 what does first digit of the numeric part of the uic system of the rail failure indicates 
and uh, that is location of rail failure. What does second digit of the numeric part of the UIC system of the rail failure indicate? And that is location of failure and the position of rail section from which failure has started and type of welding. The position in the rail section from which failure has started, this is right. Type of welding, this is right. So both of the above is the right answer. So both of the above is with the right answer. What do you mean by UIC code 200? 200 is related to the sudden fracture. If first digit of numeric part of the UI system of the rail failure is 1, what does it mean? It means fracture is within fish plated zone. If first digit of the numeric part of the UIC of a rail failure is 3, and does what does it mean? That means if fracture is fracture is due to the damage done within the face plated limit. If first digit of numeric part in USA system of rail failure is four, then what does it mean? Four does it mean if fracture is associated with the welding within face plated limit? If first digit of numeric part in the UIS system of the rail failure is 5, then what does it mean? Hence, key fracture is due to the corrosion within the displated zone. What does 411 in UIS system of the rail failure indicates? It means key welding, classward joint, and transverse crack. What does 421 in USA system of the rail failure indicates. It indicates welding, thermit joint, and transverse crack. What does 422 in USA system of rail failure indicates? It means welding, thermit joint, horizontal crack. What does 431 in USA system of the rail failure indicates? This indicates welding, electric arc joint, and transverse crack. What numeric code is used in the UIC system of the rail, fail, rail failure when fracture is caused due to the corrosion in the fish plated zone? And that is 500. What is the approximately total life of USFD machine? And it is 8 years. Number of probe in single rail tester? and that is 9. Number of probes used in the double rail tester, and that is 18. Which rail tester is preferred in LWR, CWR section? And it is DRD. Following probes are used in half moon defect. First, 45 degree, 2 megahertz. 20 degree 2 megahertz side looking probe. Both is the right. Both are the right. So option one or and two or both. What should be the distance between probe index marks in the rig for 52 in test rig for wheel want a scabbed rail? It is generally head, uh, width of the head into two. So 52 kg. Width of the head is 67 into 2. So 134. What should be the distance between the probe index marks in the rigs of 60 kg in test rig for wheel burnt or scabbed rail? It is also 60 kg, nearly 72, 72 into uh, 2. So 144. So near about is 145. So 145 is the right answer. And what is yeah, are used as a couplant in USFD testing? 
by SRT or DRD. And water and soft gas both are used. So the answer is both water and soft grease.